The new Quasar by Euro SMC, includes multiple state-of-the-art features, in a sturdy, highly functional, and user-friendly instrument. This brief tutorial illustrates the basic usage of the Quasar's control app, and the power of Roots automation software, when testing the overcurrent element, in a modern protective relay. To get started, we connect one of the Quasar's current channels, to a current input in the relay. As this is a three-phase relay, we can conveniently connect the three current channels. We complete this step by connecting the relay's operation contact to one of the Quasar's binary inputs. When the relay operates, the Quasar will record the time and the test will be finished. In this part of the tutorial we will use a tablet connected to the Quasar via Wi-Fi. We just need to locate the Quasar in the app, and connect. According to the relay's trip characteristic, it will only operate if the injected current exceeds 5 amps. From this point on, the larger the injected current the shorter the operation time. This behavior is known as inverse time overcurrent protection. When fault current is detected, the relay starts its internal chronometer. If the current persists beyond the associated time in the curve, the relay will operate and will turn this LED on. In this tutorial we will measure the relay's operation time, with a few different current values, starting with one at the very beginning of the overcurrent protection zone. The fault function in the Quasar's assisted testing mode, provides a quick, intuitive way to do this. You just need to enter the test current, press the start button and wait until the relay operates. The current in our first test is too small, so the relay won't evaluate it as a fault, and will never operate, thus passing the, no operation test successfully. The current in our second test does fall inside the operation zone of the curve, so the relay should operate this time. As expected, the relay has operated with this current, in a time that is virtually identical to the corresponding one in the characteristic curve. Let's repeat the test to confirm these results. Ok, let's proceed now to the next point. Correct time again, let's repeat to confirm. And follow the same procedure with the remaining test points. As we wired the three phases to the Quasar, we just need to select the appropriate tab in the assistant, to repeat these tests on a phase-to-phase, -phase, or three-phase fault loop. You can save this test routine in Roots, to repeat it automatically, with this or with any other relay, at any time. Roots will display each test point on the relay's characteristic graph, and will list all test quantities and results in a chart, as the test progresses one point at a time. Results are instantly compared to the expected values, and each point is marked as pass or fail. Repeating the entire test, is just a matter of clearing the results, and pressing start again. The test can also be repeated on selected points, by just clearing these points results. Roots will calculate test quantities for single phase, phase to phase, 
or three phase fault loops, so we just need to select the appropriate tab, as we did with the Quasar's assistant. Results are immediately saved, so a test report can be issued at any time, and exported to various common document formats. With the Quasar, you get all you need to test any protective relay easily, quickly and accurately. Please visit our website or write to sales at eurosmc.com for more information. We will be pleased to help you.